It's a big night for LSU. Right now, thousands of fans are glued to their TVs as the Tigers take on Florida in Game 1 of the College Baseball Championship Series. And that includes Jacqueline Quinn tonight. She joins us live from the Rusty Nail in the Warehouse District where Jacqueline fans are on the edges of their seats. Yeah, a couple of the purple and goats here on the edge of their seat, even though it's still early in the game. They're pretty nervous about this, but according to ESPN, New Orleans is the market with the highest number of viewers in this market, so I'm kind of doing what everybody else is doing, pulling up a seat here and enjoying the game, but earlier in the day, I had a chance to catch up with some of the fans, doing their best to show their support for LSU baseball. The flags are out flying. After what I'll get, I get the shirt. And the merchandise is coming hot off the shelves. <laughs> All that this time of the year are the outpouring of support for the Louisiana State University baseball team. Well, I'm a fan. I'm a big LSU fan. I mean, I've always followed them. Fans around the country are hoping for another College World Series win. This could be our seventh championship, so I've been, I've been in business for all seven. LSU is among the teams with the most appearances at the series. So while the baseball team doesn't quite have the popularity that the football team does, some say maybe it should. This is the official baseball hat that they wear on the field. Pam Randazza has had a long line of family members attend the university. She runs a sports shop that continues to cheer on that legacy. We have the LSU baseball jersey. Randazza says the gold home jersey could bring a bit of luck Hence, it's a popular item. I'm looking to see if they got any World Series caps. And a little bit of luck is what Guy Guffey is hoping to pick up. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for them to go back to World Series for, what's it been, about two years, three years? Randazza says the rush has been steady and expects a couple of busy days ahead as the Tigers try to hit it out of the park once again for a title. Hey, I need to know for sure. Guthrie said, yes, I'm fine. I'm going to work And it's still scoreless in the first inning here. There's still more people coming uh, in right now. Uh, but uh, for now, I'm going to just go back to watching the game. And I'll reporting live here at the Rusty Nail, Jacqueline Quinn. I appreciate it.